The United States Embassy here in Georgetown today announced that its U.S. aid mission in Guyana will cease operations effective from the beginning of the fiscal year 2012. That fiscal year begins in October of this year. The move, according to the U.S. government, is part of its worldwide strategy in a tight budgetary environment to be more efficient in the management of its aid resources. However, the U.S. Embassy cautions that the closing of the mission does not mean the end of U.S. aid's relationship with Guyana. According to the embassy, the U.S. government, including U.S. aid, will continue to remain involved in working with the government and people of Guyana to respond to key development challenges. U.S. aid has been involved in several health and development projects here, especially those that cover the fight against HIV and AIDS. In the statement, the embassy noted that U.S. aid and the Centers for Disease Control manage the president's emergency plan for AIDS relief in Guyana, which focuses on reducing HIV transmission, mitigating the impact of illness, and strengthening the public health care system. This country will also continue to participate in and benefit from the U.S. government's regional citizen security program, the Caribbean Basin Security Initiative, focused on responding to the causes of crime and violence. The management of the programs will be transferred to USAID's Caribbean Regional Mission in Barbados. Capital News understands that a number of local non-governmental agencies that partnered with USAID are already feeling the squeeze from the budget cuts. Many of the groups, especially those involved in the HIV fight, have seen a significant cut in funding, and at least six groups have been cut from the USAID program altogether. The remaining ones have been forced to work on a much tighter budget. USAID has led the way in several of those organizations and projects. Some of them will be forced to scale back on the work they do unless funding could be sourced from some other group. Reports state that the groups that received funding from USAID were briefed about the changes a few months back, and USAID's decision to cut back on its operations here may clear the way for the government and the private sector to step in and fill the gap if the programs supported are seen as important to improving the way of life here. USAID has been operating in Guyana for several years, and through the U.S. government, it has invested millions of U.S. dollars in several critical projects. Just recently, the World Bank office in Guyana announced that its head will be moving to Jamaica, where most of the bank's work will be done. The World Bank's decision came after the bank's local office came under a stinging attack from the finance minister, Dr. Ashni Singh, who described the bank's staff of having one of the largest appetites for publicity and self-promotion. This is your Tuesday edition of Capital News. When we return this evening, on line one. I'm certainly surprised. I, I can't believe that I'm getting this much attention.